Hello, this is Robotnik is Sexy with battle video number five. Not battle video number three again. Um, yes, it's against uh, my friend Christian, who uh, is a good friend of mine, and uh, we did a roulette battle, and it was kind of interesting. Um, I thought I would try to show it off because real up battles are, you know, they're pretty interesting. And he leads with Clefable. And I, of course, use those stealth rocks. I was pretty lucky to get some kind of Pokemon with stealth rocks who was uh, really sturdy. Um, and could use them without fainting in most cases, which is bested on that guy. And I make a, uh, tragic error. It isn't really that tragic, but, um, I predicted him to close combat, um, when he instead sword dances. Uh, which is a terrible thing for me, because, uh, I could have roared him. But I didn't get the chance to do that, and now I really can't, because he's all powered up and stuff. Um, but it's all for naught for him, because I've got a choice scarfed uh, Togekiss of uh, questionable legitimacy that I got in a trade from uh, Gimura. Um, yeah, he's he's kind of funny. I don't know if he's legit or not. Um, but he's darn strong, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I was going to set up with Substitute and Nasty Plot and be really awesome with that Mismagius that I had just made, um, like a month ago or something. But unfortunately, uh, he gets picked off with Shadow Sneak. But... Um, that's really fine with me, because this, uh, Choice Scarf Togekiss really saved my bacon. Like, uh, without him, yeah, it would have been a lot tougher. Um, this Togekiss, uh, runs Trick, Thunder Wave, Air Slash, and Aura Sphere, I think. And I didn't get to trick anybody, I don't think, in this one, but... That can really uh, throw a monkey in the wrench for some people. Or, yes. And so, he he goes into slaking, or slacking, or however you want to say it, and I get my uh, rightful hex. Missing with that 5 percentile thing. And, uh, and then I thought to myself, hey, this is slacking. Um, he's one of my all-time favorite Pokemon, but... What destroys slacking. Any Pokemon with Protect. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Huh, okay. So I can just set up with Ninjask. No problem. Um, which, uh... I've only really done two roulette battles before, and I've gotten really lucky um, uh, both times. Which I'm sure is not going to keep up. But yeah, having a Protect Ninjask at random against a Slaking at random is pretty lucky, I think. And uh, I don't know why he uh, stays in so long. He actually stays in, uh, allowing me to Sword Dance all the way, which I don't really know what he was thinking. Uh... <laughs> Last time I fought Christian, he ju he uh, was watching TV, and he was distracted, so the battle was, like, super easy, so maybe he was distracted again. I don't know. But I, uh, I'm really fine with this, and, uh, I torture slacking. <sighs> Poor slacking. He really is... Uh, a good Pokemon, and he's one of my all-time favorites, um, um, because I have a thing for fat characters, and, uh, but, 
his ability, Truant, just uh, destroys him, and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, Confagragus, because uh, if you can pass Mummy to Slacking, you could really get the ball rolling, and maybe he'd be good, but uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of a lot of setup. I, I wish there was a better way to get rid of Truant. And so here I pass my plus 5 attack and plus 6 speed to this guy, Slurp Slurp, who is a mixed trained f guy from my, uh, from my, uh, Pearl days. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's kind of good. I mean, he isn't like maxed out, but he's like near max for uh, HP and attack, um, which is unconventional, because that's how I roll. And um, yeah, I kind of do a boring sweep uh, from here. And uh, thanks to Stone Edge, Scyther won't cause me any problems. Although, if he had caused me problems, this video would probably be a lot more intense. Uh, so I flop on top of him with my plus five and, like, crush his exoskeleton. There sticky yellow fluids flying everywhere. I don't know. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, Christian was kind of disenchanted from the results of this roulette, and uh, we decided next time we battled we're going to pick our guys, because, uh, yeah, it was kind of nasty. But um, I wanted to post something that had different Pokemon in it. Like, maybe I should uh, try to get more never-used and underused in... Um, and then I can talk about how Sceptile uh, is kind of the bane of my existence in Underused, because he's, like, really good. Um, maybe. I don't know. So, just to be interesting, I two-hit KO him with Power Whip, because Power Whip is just so snazzy-looking, um, I think. That's one of the reasons I like using Tangrowth so much. So, yes... That is my latest battle video, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to record as many as I can before Black and White comes out. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited about it, and, um, I just, um, gonna play the heck out of it for probably a long time. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, see you all later, or something.